So in this video, we're going to sketch x plus 4 squared plus 5y squared equals 1. The first thing to do is to identify what type of graph this is, and this is an ellipse, okay? Because you've got the x squared plus a y squared. So, let's see what we can make of this. Now, the x has been replaced with x plus 4, which means it's been translated 4 units to the left. So the centre of this ellipse is at minus 4, 0. Now, when, uh, what we can do here is we could work out where it's crossing the x-axis by putting y is equal to 0. Um, and doing it that way. It's really up to you, because uh, as we saw in the previous video, there are several ways of kind of considering this. So when y is 0, we get x plus 4 squared equals 1. And so x plus 4 must be equal to plus or minus 1. So x is equal to minus 4, <laughs> minus 4, plus or minus 1. So that would be uh, 1 either side. So uh, minus 5 and minus 3. So they are the points where it's crossing the x-axis. Now, as for where, uh, well, it's not going to be crossing the y-axis, okay, because we're going to be looking at something like this. So we just need to find that uppermost point and the lowermost point. Now, the original uh, ellipse centred at the origin would have been x squared plus 5y squared equals 1. So... We can either think about the original curve and then translate it, or we can substitute in the minus 4 into this. So when x is minus 4, that will give us the two values of y. So that will knock out that bracket, and we'll have 5y squared equals 1. So y squared is equal to 1 fifth, so y is equal to plus or minus 1 over root 5. So this point and this point, so that will be at uh, 1 over root 5. And that will be minus 1 over root 5. So my ellipse will look something like that. <laughs> I say it every time, my ellipses are terrible. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. My potato shape can stay the way it is. Okay, so that is an alternative way of sketching these ellipses by just thinking about the current shape rather than necessarily having to think about the transformations behind the scenes. But I do think always kind of like having those in mind uh, is very useful because they play a big part in all of the other types of graphs that we are sketching.